Hi, I'm Todd, and I hope you're having a great week. You know, choosing the right power supply for your desktop music PC can be more important than you think. It actually has quite an impact on audio quality and system reliability. So I'm going to go through the five criteria that I use to select a power supply upgrade for my music PC. I'm going to show you the before and after noise measurements. And at the end, I've got a bonus tip for you on how to get rid of one of the most problematic causes of noise in your signal chain. So let's check it out. Now, as musicians or audio engineers, we spend a lot of time thinking about noise in the signal chain. Whether it's from outboard gear, cables, or power coming into our studio, we can do some things to clean that up. Certainly power conditioners will go a long way to getting that noise out of the line before it even gets to our gear. But the music PC is actually a very noisy place and you have to think that everything runs off the power supply that's in your computer. And so whether it's a video card, internal routing, or the power supply itself, a lot of noise can get into our recordings from the PC itself. Now, the most common way we're told to select a power supply for our computer is by power delivery and efficiency. So if it has enough watts to power our system components, the efficiency is acceptable to us, and it's from a reputable manufacturer, that should be good enough. Well, I found out different after I started chasing down noise in my signal chain. I went through all the usual outboard gear, cables, cable management, power conditioners, everything you would expect until I found that the noise disappeared when I used an external recorder instead of recording to my PC. So at that point, I started going through the differences in power supplies from one to the other and found out there's a lot more to it. So I ended up upgrading from an EVGA 750BQ, which I thought was a decent enough power supply. It was only an 80 plus bronze, but I mean, I was happy with that efficiency and I knew EVGA was a reputable manufacturer. Well, by the time I was done, I ended up upgrading to a Seasonic GX1000, arguably more wattage. It was an 80 plus gold. And I thought, well, okay, if I go with gold, it'll be more efficient. There'll be less heat buildup. The fan won't run as much. So at least I'll have less noise in my studio space. But should I go with a gold, a platinum or a titanium? And how many watts did I really need? Well, the answer is I took a look at my computer in terms of how much power I was actually using. And I found that max load with a good session running in a DAW, I could be sitting around 400 watts, 420 watts. And so I thought to myself, okay, that's what I really need. Now let's find the most efficient power supply in that delivery range. So looking at the Seasonic GX1000, I found that that was in the sweet spot. That was where we had the most efficiency. And I suggest for you that when you choose a power supply, look at your system, the power you actually need, and find a power supply where that sits in the sweet spot as well. My next consideration was to minimize ambient noise in the studio because my music PC was in the studio at that time. And then I wanted to also reduce the noise in the signal chain. So I was looking for a power supply that had as little fan noise as possible in the power delivery range that I needed. And looking here at the GX1000 graph, you can see that it is exceedingly low in that four to 450 watt range. So really silent you can't hear the computer running from the power supply then i started looking at power delivery as a way to get a clean signal i knew that we use power conditioners we want to get the most efficient power to our outboard gear to keep them silent same thing applies in the pc so i looked at power supplies that had very good power delivery the gx1000 was rated at 0.5 percent which is significantly below the minimum standard and the industry average so i thought again this will be a good choice you should also look for that with a power supply to fit your system. Get one that exceeds the specifications for voltage control and power delivery, and you will get cleaner power to your music PC. Like anything, there is no substitute for quality components. So I was looking for a power supply that not only had good specifications, but also a good warranty. I felt if manufacturers were going to stand behind it for a long period of time, there's a cost associated with component failure. And so a long warranty and good specifications would likely give me high quality components. And so looking at the GX1000, it has a 12 year warranty, far more than the lifespan most of us need a power supply for. We probably would upgrade our system several times during that period. I also found that it had a control for hybrid mode, which allows you to change the fan profile essentially. But again, with the noise level so low on the GX1000, I've just left it in the standard mode. And the final criteria I used for selecting a power supply was actually the accessories. If you think about it, 
Cable management in a PC is a really important thing to optimize airflow, cooling, but also noise. Cable management in your studio, cable management in your PC. So by upgrading from the EVGA 750BQ, a semi-modular power supply, to the fully modular GX1000, I could use only the cables that I need, I could route them appropriately so as to try to minimize internal interference in the computer, and therefore I would get the lowest noise situation as well as the best cooling possible. Now before I show you the difference in the noise floor after the power supply upgrade, I just want to say that I'm not here to tell you that the GX1000 is the best music PC power supply. It was the choice based on the criteria that I went through for my system and I encourage you to do the same for yours. Now looking at the difference here in the noise floor, it's pretty astounding actually as to how much lower the noise is after the upgrade to the Seasonic GX1000. And so for me, that was definitely the right move. I noticed it right away, even in some sample test recordings before I went ahead and did these measurements. And now I'm gonna share my bonus tip to reduce noise from one of the most troublesome components in your computer, the graphics card. If your computer has an external graphics card, it is one of the noisiest components in your system and that noise can leak into your audio path. Remember, all the power is connected inside your computer through the power supply. The solution is very simple and inexpensive, ferrite chokes. I've added ferrite core chokes to the individual power supplies running to my NVIDIA graphics card and I noticed a significant difference in noise again. A big drop from having these they're very inexpensive, easy to install, and one of the first things you might want to try even before upgrading your power supply. And this is not a sponsored video nor an advertisement for Seasonic or the GX1000 power supply. Again, that's only the one I found that worked well for me, but I will say that after long-term use, it has proven to be very reliable. It was an excellent choice. And if you're looking for other ways to level up the quality and performance of your music PC, check out one of the videos on the screen as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being with me here today. Take care and I'll see you next time.